All right, welcome back to SMSU Esports. We have a Rocket League Finals match on today. SMSU going to be taking Morningside for the finals of the Navigator Great Plains Division. And we got a, a long best of seven on today, which is a little bit different than a regular season, normally best of fives. So even more action coming at you today. And here we go, into game very quickly here. And here we go, Sean, uh, Sean taking it into Morningside. So very quickly, almost a goal for SMSU. Is now they put the pressure on to Morningside's side here. Stonebreaker going to try to dribble this out. And here's Sean, here to intercept, to break up this play a little bit. Gets a nice bump, and there's a miss from TJ. Now into Morningside side. Wolf looking for a goal, but unable to capitalize on it. Now SMSU got to be back on defense. Roner there. And Wolf gets in the way and breaks up that play. Set up for Morningside. Now Wolf fielding this ball. No boost. Just trying to get it for a teammate. And there's Sean taking the shot, but unable to make it. Now Sam cutting across, getting that ball into their side here. SMSU falling back to defense a little bit here as the pressure starts to come on from Morningside. And Stonebreaker trying to get some disruption here, but SMSU kicks it to Morningside side. Now T, T Duff kicking it across. Here goes Sean kicking it across the field. And now maybe a setup, but unable to make anything happen with it. Roner maybe going for an aerial here. Going for an interesting shot, but unable to make it. But here's Sean with the follow-up, but unable to. Now Wolf trying to break up the play as Morningside tries to get onto offense on a breakaway play. And, and very interesting interaction there. Now Sean kicking it back to Morningside's side, trying to play this ball. Wolf kicking it up, maybe looking for an assist for a teammate, but the play gets broken up. Roner back on defense now. And Tidoff kicking it back across. Now Sean trying to play that. Tidoff trying to set up a teammate. And Sean kicking it back to Morningside's side here. A little bit of a cutback from T. Duff. And Roner wins the challenge, keeping the ball on the Morningside side here. But the ball is now volleyed back across. And SMSU, a little bit of a miscommunication there as two players run into each other. Now Roner kicking it back to Morningside side, giving them some time to reset here. Nelly now going to take the ball into SMSU's court. But broken up by Wolf there. Now Sean going to be challenged on the defense, and he does get the save. And Roner going to try to play this ball by the looks of it. Schooling a couple people. Maybe a setup for a teammate. Wolf trying to get in here. Unable to, though. Now Roner kicking it to the corner. And Sean kicks it back to Morningside side. SMSU trying to keep the pressure up. And a... Oh. Wolf unable to capitalize on that. But now Roner comes in and gets the goal. Great offensive pressure from SMSU so far this game. The ball has been on Morningside side almost this entire game. And Morningside wins the kickoff here. Now into SMSU's territory. SMSU, no one in net right now. A little scary, but Sean gets the play, breaks up there. Now Stonebreaker kicking it back to SMSU side, but SMSU in a better position. But no! T Duff comes in with a little bit of a surprise positioning there. Roner was not quite ready for that. Doesn't get in front in time. As all three members from SMSU commit for the defense, but they found the perfect spot. Now ball kicked back out here. Sean kicking it over 
trying to get it to Morningside side, but the pressure going to stay up. Wolf saving that one. Now trying to keep the pressure on, trying to get a demo here. Gets a, oh, not quite a demo, and that would have been a goal if the demo went through. Rohner with a nice stop there. Trying to get SMSU some more time to get back on defense or to get control of this ball for offense here. Tidoff breaks up the play a little bit. Now Rohner coming across, going for a nice hit. Maybe going off the crossbar here, but Nelly gets in there. Keeps SMSU from being able to field that one. Oh, Nelly with a nice tr attempt there. But the play is broken up by Wolf. 30 seconds remaining and SMSU trying to put the pressure on still. Sean comes across. Now Wolf. Now SMSU may be on a breakaway offensive play. Wolf gets the ball by Nelly here, but Stone hits it back across. 10 seconds left to go in the game. SMSU now back on offense, but T Duff hit falling it back to SMSU side. Wolf trying to get some pressure here. Rohner trying to get in. Oh, but the ball hits the ground right before that could have been a goal. And now we're into first game's overtime. And SMSU losing the kickoff a little bit there, but their second player gets it volleyed back to Morningside side, giving everyone a chance to reset a little bit. And there's a demo on to Rohner. SMSU now two players versus three. As these demos keep coming across. SMSU trying to get this ball volleyed back to Morningside side to relieve some of this pressure. But Morningside just not letting them. Rohner with a the save there. Now Tidoff comes in trying to keep the pressure on. And Rohner with another disruption on Nelly. Sean trying to get the ball past the Morningside defense but unable to. As Morningside keeps the pressure on and keeps the ball in SMSU's territory. Sean now trying to get the setup for a teammate, but unable to. Now he's trying to kick this ball out, but Sam there to break up the play. And now the ball in front of the net, but no one on SMSU in position to capitalize on it. And Wolf kicking the ball back out here. Rohner now taking the ball forward. Not able to make any pressure, but so close. Now Nelly looking for a play. Rohner gets the save. Looked a little scary for SMSU, but now Sean kicking that ball on the Morningside side. Trying to give SMSU some time to get back on defense. But there's Tidoff with another demo. And Rohner with a pass over here. Now Wolf trying to cross some disruption here. And he does stop that from going in. Now Rohner and Wolf. Trying to get this ball kicked back out. Rohner might have a position here, but he's out of boost. Unable to make anything work. Now two minutes into overtime. Rohner now volleying it back over to Morningside side here. And Sean may be looking at capitalizing on it. And there goes Wolf, but unable to make it in. Rohner now trying to dribble past T-Duff. Gets broken up a little bit. Now Nelly fielding that ball. T-Duff trying to get it back out of Morningside side, but SMSU's keeping the pressure on. Rohner's now here. All three members of SMSU on the offensive. Wolf cuts the ball off, makes sure that it stays. That SMSU has enough time to get back, and that might make it in. Oh, but Nelly with a crazy save. I cannot believe he saved that. Wolf now in position to set up a teammate, maybe. Sean trying to disrupt the play a little bit, slow it down. And now Rohner trying to dribble it past, but unable to. Sean kicking it back to Morningside side. And a little bit of a setup, but now he's there to disrupt the play. A pop up from Sean here. Maybe trying to find some pressure. Rohner with the shot. Off the cross guard, though. SMSU back on defense. We're now 3 minutes, 30 seconds into our first game. Overtime. And 
Nelly trying to kick it out. Still an SMSU's corner here. Sam trying to get that cleared. Roner now moving it forward. Sean trying to set up a teammate, but there comes the demo from Nelly again. And now SMSU has to get back on defense. And they do get the save from Sam there. Ball volleyed forward. SMSU looking at making a play here. And Wolf gets up just in time. Now the ball kicked up in the middle of the field. Wolf trying to make it work. Rohner trying to get ahead of this ball. And he does get ahead of the play. Now another one, but Wolf there to defend against it. Trying to keep that pressure going, but unable to. Another demo, but this time coming out from Wolf. And Wolf trying to dribble this ball past some defenders, but ball gets stolen here. T. Duff trying to make a play. A little bit of a setup, but SMSU does get in there and breaks up the play. And Sean also in there trying to disrupt this back line, trying to prevent any shots. And now Roner maybe, maybe has a breakaway, but the ball doesn't quite go where he wants. Now SMSU has to get back on defense again. Roner saving that one, and Wolf kicking it back to Morningside side. Now officially longer than the default game time, five minutes of overtime. T Duff kicking that ball over in front of SMSU school. SMSU in an interesting position. And Wolf finds a position to keep it away from the offense here. And Rohner wins that 50 50. Now Sean might have a breakaway here. Now just got some boost. Trying to find a spot for a teammate. Can Wolf slam this in? Unable to. A stone breaker. Able to get that. Now Rohner back on defense gets the takeaway and slows the play down now wolf trying to get some disruption here roner in an interesting position dribbles it past one and sean comes through keeping the ball away from the defense now smsu on offense trying to find a position here Sean now volleying it, trying to set up for a teammate, trying to take out the defenders, but unable to. It was so close. And there we have it. Finally, Wolf is able to finish something in six minutes, 30 seconds of overtime. SMSU going to take game one of this best of seven. And what a crazy close game on the first game of the series. Right now, getting ready for game number two. And here we have it. SMSU winning the kickoff. Trying to capitalize on it. Trying to keep the pressure forward. But T Duff kicking it back to SMSU side. And SMSU a, a little bit out of defensive rotation here. But Rohner buys some time. Now Sean buying some time. And now looks like SMSU is finally back into a defensive position. But maybe they overcommitted there. Now Rohner has to win. And he does get the 50-50 there. Very important save from Rohner. Ooh, it dribbles over the opponent there. And now SMSU may be on a tear, but the play gets broken up by Nelly. Now into SMSU's side here. SMSU trying to break up this play. And Sean doing a great job doing just that.
Nelly kicking it back to SMSU's side. Pass to Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker trying to pass it to a teammate. No one there. T. Duff trying to keep the pressure on. Unable to. Stonebreaker keeping the ball on SMSU's side, however. And that is a free goal as no one is back on defense for some reason. SMSU ended up out of rotation there. And Wolf just overcommitted. Needed to be a little bit more patient there. Now SMSU down 1-0. They are leading 1-0 in the series so far. Four minutes left to go in game number two. Now Stonebreaker volleying it back to SMSU's side here. Maybe going to take this forward. Looking to make a play on Sean. Sean does make a fake there. Is able to break up the play a little bit. Now Rohner going to take that ball. And try to get it to Morningside side here. And he successfully relieving a lot of pressure from the defense. But now SMSU may have overcommitted for it. But Rohner gets rotated back just in time. But there a nice shot from Morningside is SMSU... Seems to be out of rotations. They've been overcommitting a little bit on this offense. And there's just not enough people back to def defend against that type of play. No shot. Trying to dribble it forward. Sam kicking it to Morningside side here. And Rohner with a nice shot, but it's off the sidebar oh so unfortunate for SMSU is that looked like that would put SMSU back within a point but not able to two minutes 45 seconds left to go in the game SMSU still has plenty of time but they're gonna need to start making moves now even if it's just to keep this morning side team on their toes And there's Wolf trying to keep it on the morning side, but Stonebreaker's done a great job keeping the pressure on. And T-Duff gets a little bit of break up there, but that ball he goes over. Can that miss you? They cannot field the assist, unfortunately. And now SMSU trying to find something here. Wolf misses it, however. Rohner all the way back. And trying to dribble past a bunch of defenders here. Stuck into SMSU side here. Rohner trying to clear it out. Stonebreaker stopping that, however. Now Sean trying to get an assist, trying to get it in a position where somebody else can dunk it, but no one in position. And oh, what a pass from Morningside. Wolf makes it back just in time to save it, but wow, what an incredible play. Now Sean trying to dribble past his opponents. Out of boost, however. Esmusu being very starved from boost this game. And SMSU maybe has a chance here, but Stonebreaker gets in the way. And Rohner gets demoed when he was looking at following up on that play. But it doesn't matter. Oh, it does matter as Sean's unable to finish it. It looked so good for Sean. Wolf now kicking the ball out. Back into SMSU's corner. And Rohner with a save, but not. Gets the first save, but unable to recover in time for the second. As Morningside take a 3-0 lead with 15 seconds left to go. I think we can call it. That's game two going to Morningside. SMSU just trying to make a statement in the last few seconds of this game. They know the game's over, but 
getting a goal like that can be a big confidence booster. And look at the where that ball ends up between so many players. And there we go, game two going to Morningside. Here we are into game number three now. A 1-1 so far in this series. Remember, the series is a best of seven, so we still have a lot of Rocket League left to play. And Sean trying to get in there. Disrupt Morningside. And kicking it out to the side here. Meanwhile, Morningside trying to set something up in the middle. It is broken up by Roner, though. And now Sean gets a nice shot over most of the defenders here. And Sean trying to kick the ball out here. Stonebreaker kicking the ball over. And Sean going for a demo, unable to make it work. Morning's like keeping the pressure up so far this match. SMSU, all three players back on defense. Sam trying to dribble past some players here and does get quite a bit of progress made, but there's Stonebreaker making a shot. SMSU unable to get back on defense. They're kind of being outplayed here in these last couple games. It feels like they're constantly out of boost. SMSU down 1-0 with three minutes left to go in game number three. SMSU trying to keep the pressure on now. Maybe a little bit of a tactical switch up, but the volley puts SMSU back on defense right away. Loner making sure he secures that boost. As Morningside trying to get back, get in position for another offensive strike. Roner now trying to take the ball himself. Wolf getting the ball in front of the goal, but no one from SMSU there. Now Roner tries to cut back and get it, but unfortunately Nelly wins that and gets the free goal. Roner gets beaten just by a little bit there. Fifty fifty kickoff. Now kicked over to SMSU side. T Duff trying to keep the pressure on. And Roner with a save and Sean kicking it out now. But their morning side is using this time to collect a bunch of boost on all their players and starve SMSU out of boost. And there it is. That's what happens when there's a big boost differential. Nelly gets a nice shot there. Sean's just completely out of gas. Just 
Stonebreaker trying to shoot it across here. Rowan are unable to field it. And now it's a 3-0 lead for Morningside with two minutes left to go. SMSU really got to be active. But look at this. Wolf's out of boost again. It's just a boost differential has been a big impact this game. And wow, what a save by Rohner. And a one versus two. Able to break up the play just enough. Wolf trying to volley it back to warning side here. Rohner gets a save, but there's just so many players on offense and he's out of boost again. If he had boost, this is a free goal and Sean maybe getting in the way of that goal. And now SMSU, no one back as they're just completely out of boost all the time, over committing. A 4-0 lead in game number three for Morningside. And this has been spectacularly well played by Morningside since game number one. This game already looking out of reach as that's 5-0. Morningside really beating up on SMSU here. SMSU trying to dribble it past, but broken up already. Now SMSU back on defense. Morning side kicking it over to SMSU side again. Stonebreaker setting up for a teammate, but Wolf able to get the save there. 15 seconds left to go. SMSU down by five. Now, when the ball hits the ground, the game will be over, and that is it. Morningside taking a lead 2-1 to one in this best of seven. Right, SMSU kicking the ball back out, and whoa, Broner gets there just in time. It's about to give another Morningside early goal, but Broner gets in there. <laughs> Can he do it twice? Holy cows! <laughs> Bailing SMSU out of a lot of terrible situations, Broner is. Sean flies by trying to make a play there. Now Sam does get a nice position there. But SMSU just unable to finish some of these plays. Now ball hit up here by Stonebreaker. Kicking it out here. Sean tried to get in the way, but Nelly able to get past him. And Sean does win that 50 50 and gets a little bit of time for his team.
Ooh, and Roner does get the demo, but doesn't get the shot off because of that defensive play. Wolf dribbling it over the heads of one competitor. And in second, but loses control over the ball. And now all defenders are back on defense. Wolf trying to get this cleared out to Morning Set side, but unable to. Now kicked in front of SMSU's goal. Sean kicking the ball up, trying to dribble past T Duff, but Stonebreaker there to back T Duff up. Looks like two players are caught, and there comes the demo from Sean, breaking up that stalemate there. Oh, Wolf trying to set up for himself, but unable to quite connect. Rohner trying to kick it to Morningside side here. Still 0-0 zero, zero with a minute 45 left to go. Now Sean trying to kick this out of SMSU's territory. Oh, SMSU needing to clear this bad. Stonebreaker there to try to punch it in. Oh, Rona with a save here. Unable to dribble past one, but Nelly there to stop it from going any further. Fifty-four seconds left to go, and SMSU. Oh, lets up a goal by D. Duff. And now SMSU needs to answer that goal in the next fifty seconds. Two passing it around here. Wolf maybe making a play for himself, but looks like it's set up for another player. Stonebreaker breaks up that play though. No, being volleyed to morning to the side. Only 10 seconds left to go in the game. SMSU is down by one still. That's going to be it for game number four. Morningside taking a three to one lead and Morningside now on match point. Here we have it into game number five. SMSU need to win the next three if they want to take this series. Runner 
trying to drill a pass. Sean trying to capitalize on it, but unable to. And there is the expert level coordination coming out from Morningside. One player gets ahead, looks for Roner, and just gets the demo. And then Stonebreaker has an easy job getting it in. Another demo coming out. Asimisu unable to capitalize on that and now out of boost. Tidoff trying to dribble it past Asimisu's defenses here. Gives it off to Nelly. On makes the play on it. And Stobreaker falling it back to SMSU side again. And there's a shot, but not quite going in. Runner trying to make a shot over, but play is broken up. Ooh, that might be good. And there we go. A tie game finally. SMSU showing a little bit of signs of life in this match point. Wolf able to get a nice shot past all of the defenders of Morningside. Sean now dribbling it past here. And oh, Rohner almost making a big play. But does keep the pressure on to Morningside here. And Sean trying to set up a teammate for a play. No one there to capitalize on it, however. Now Sean coming in here to keep the pressure on the Morningside. Oh, SMSU maybe unable to finish that one off, however. Roder now centers it for a teammate again. Sean comes through, but unable to make it work. Wolf going for a front and early center. And a double up by Roner able to grab that one. Right now, SMSU up two to one in game number five here. And Nelly comes across and gets a goal from Morningside. All of a sudden, another tie game. Coming across now, SMSU having a tough time dealing with it. Roner trying to set up a teammate. Is a teammate there? But no. Sean gets knocked off course. Now SMSU has to be back on defense. Wolf now kicking it back over. Trying to make some offensive plays for SMSU. And can they finish it? No! Still unable to get it cleared. Now Morningside on offense trying to make a play here on SMSU. 
Sean tried to kick it out. But. Stonebreaker now. Looking for a play versus Roner. Roner looking at maybe making a play towards the morning side. Get him to back off a little bit. But now he steals it away. Ooh, a nice attempt at a shot from Sean there. A little bit off. Stonebreaker trying to set up a teammate. Nelly comes through. And Stonebreaker. And T Duff. But SMSU does get rid of it. Three seconds left. Can anyone score here? That's overtime. Now SMSU has to win this overtime if they want to stay alive in the series. And Roner may be doing it himself, and he does! And that puts SMSU two games to three here. SMSU need to win the next two, or Morningside need just to win one. Now we'll be back very shortly with some water. Sorry about that. Now I am back in SMSU starting off the game six just right with a nice setup from Wolf into Sean. And now kickoff. SMSU does win it. Wolf looking at setting up a teammate, but he misses. Oh, but SMSU makes a nice little <laughs> Oh, what a cheeky little ball placement from Sean there. So a little poke goes right over his head and Nelly unable to get there in time. And here we have another kickoff. Nelly coming across, trying to get in the way here. Roner with a great save. Wolf now getting the ball forward. Roner trying to play this. Trying to set it up for his teammate. Sean may be in the right position, but Stonebreaker comes through. Wolf is here, though, and that is 3-0. SMSU not ready to give up yet. SMSU really doing a good job keeping the pressure on. Only one minute into this game, and SMSU already up 3-0. to zero. Wolf now kicking it over to Morningside side. Stonebreaker trying to break up the play. SMSU, not very many people back. And there's a demo, but Wolf gets thin just in time to get the save. Now the ball kind of stuck here in the corner. Roner challenging and winning it. Ball kind of in the middle of nowhere. Anyone's game here. Wolf trying to get it pushed to Morningside side. Get some pressure relief now. And Sean breaking up this play. Now SMSU looking for an offensive play. Roner maybe setting up a teammate. Or maybe that's going in. Holy crap off the sidewall. I've never seen a shot like that. Look at this. 
cheeky little angle makes it over everyone's head wow what a play from Roner SMSU now leading 4-0 in game number 6 if they win this we will go to a final game number 7 And Sean coming, cutting across there, a very risky play, but so smart, and it really shuts down this morning size offensive play. Roner now trying to set up a teammate, trying to get it in front of the goal, but unable to as T Duff gets in the way. And Wolf trying to play it here, but unable to make that work. Two minutes thirty left to go. SMSU up by four. Now we have a little bit of a fake out. Now Sean trying to dribble the ball forward. Gets it past Starbreaker. Stonebreaker. But T Duff fields it and goes for a goal himself, but does not have the positioning. Stonebreaker trying to set up for his teammate. But Sean now looking at setting up for his teammate. Wolf comes through, but it is knocked to the side a little bit. Now everyone's on the way back to defense from SMSU. Roner with a nice save there. Now taking the boost, trying to get into position to. Push this one forward. Gets it past two members. Maybe past three, but the ball gets pushed to the side. SMSU maybe looking up for playoff that. And there we go, Roner. 5 0 for SMSU in game number six. Really turning it on now. And I'm pretty confident in saying this is going to come down to the final game. Roner trying to make a play with that. Unable to, though. Minute 30 left to go in the game. SMSU up by five. Roner trying to kick the ball out. Sean kicking it to Morningside side. And maybe another goal set up, but Nelly gets in the way. And he's able to steal away the boost from Sean there. A big play from Nelly. Wolf does some disruption here. Gets SMSU a chance to get back on defense. Everyone up in the air for this ball, but it's not really going anywhere. Now Stonebreaker looking at setting up a teammate. That's Miss you trying to just keep the pressure off. 50 seconds left to go, up by five. So they should be pretty comfortable right now. They don't need to play aggressive. They just keep the timer ticking down. Roner trying to make a goal there, but unable to. Now Wolf comes back, trying to get the ball out of SMSU's zone here. 30 seconds left to go in game number six. Thirteen seconds left. Roner trying to get the ball pushed past here. And that is SMSU taking game number six, 5-0. And it all comes down to this last game here. Game seven of the Great Plains final. SMSU versus Morningside. And SMSU is going to be coming in with the momentum, and we'll see if they can utilize that to get victory in this game number seven. Wolf getting a save here early, and kind of two there as he breaks up the next play. Roner now trying to kick it out. Roner maybe having a breakaway here, but Stonebreaker able to get in just in time. Oh, and SMSU unable to save that. It looked like it should be saved. As it goes off of Wolf, unable to get high enough to stop that. 
And that's a 1-0 lead here for Morningside. Wolf now rotating back. Sean trying to get the ball over to Morningside side, trying to put some pressure on. Now SMSU up, but no one here to capitalize on this. Too many defenders. Wolf gets the demo. Sean trying to find the position here. Now SMSU completely back on defense now. Sean trying to get it pushed to Morningside side to get some offensive plays going. But this Morningside side just keeping the ball right in front of SMSU's goal, putting the pressure on. Sean fakes one player out here. Now Wolf is in an interesting position. Stone breaker breaking up the play. Roner trying to go for a goal, but broken up by T Duff. And now SMSU, not very many people back. Wolf going to field this one. Keep it away from their goal. Now Roner trying to push it forward. Trying to fake out some players here. Trying to find a position, but unable to. Sean now up the wall, trying to break up this play as well. And Sean gets a shot, but Stonebreaker able to get there just in time. And Wolf maybe dribbles it past one, but T Duff there to stop it. And now T Duff trying to put the pressure on. Roner keeping the ball into Morningside's territory, but Nelly volleying it back to SMSU. Now Wolf trying to beat him here. Maybe making a play. All three members of Morningside in this corner. Roner gets a shot, but unable to make it. But here comes Sean to try to dunk it. And there we go. One to one in game number seven of this final. Oh, my God. Just barely makes it in. Here we go, kickoff. Two minutes, 30 seconds left to go. Halfway done with this game, tied at 1-1. SMSU really putting on the pressure early here, but the defense is strong from Morningside. But holy cows, that goes in. Wolf maybe lucks out a little bit there, but a great play from him. Just barely making it in. Nelly may have even helped a little bit with the angle of his car. SMSU now leads game seven, two to one, their first lead of this game. And Wolf trying to keep the pressure on immediately, volleying it back to Morningside side. And T Duff going for a little flip play here, but Sean comes across. Falling it back to Morningside side. Unable to collect the boost. Now Wolf out of boost completely. Needs to get back. Nelly fielding this ball, but Roner just causing problems. Keeping them on their toes and keeping them from being able to play offense. Wolf cutting the ball, keeping the ball onto Morningside side. Wolf gonna try to clear this, but misses the ball a little bit. Sean trying to cut the ball back. Stonebreaker keeping it up midfield. Runner now maybe a pass through. Someone here. Wolf keeping the ball in the contested territory. This is really good for SMSU, burning a lot of clock. Wolf now does win one, but. SMSU now, no one back on defense. They need to get back. Roner, able to buy enough time. And Sean trying to get the ball out of here. SMSU, oh, Roner. Gets a nice save there. They need to get this ball volleyed back to Morningside side so they can get back on defense. And there we go. Roner able to get it back on the Morningside side. And Sean gets a free nice flip kick in to take the lead 3-1. to one. SMSU looking poised to take this victory now after being down by three, by two games.
earlier in this series. And here we have it. Kickoff, 40 seconds left to go. SMSU just need to burn the clock. Sean goes up, trying to keep that ball off. Now Wolf trying to make sure that the ball stays on Morningside's side. And Sean takes a shot, but unable to make it. 20 seconds left to go. SMSU up by two. 16 seconds left to go now. As Roner gets another goal, almost all but securing this game. The rest is just formality as SMSU take the lead 4-1 to one with 13 seconds left to go. And 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And there it is. SMSU win the Great Plains Navigators Finals versus Morningside. And a crazy comeback. And that's got to feel good. Thank you guys for joining us for some exciting Rocket League today. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.